The Rays' path to the pennant returns home to the Trump today. The team could really use some hometown support. So if you have some blue, make sure you put it on. Oh, could they ever? The Rays need to win three straight games against the best team in baseball, the Astros, to avoid being eliminated. But they will have to start today. First pitch set for 105 this afternoon. They've got their best pitcher on the mound. Charlie Morton will be on the bump. He was very good in the wild card game last week when he did not allow an earned run. And manager Kevin Cash says he thinks his players can still win this series. They know what's at stake. They've played so well all season long. We're going to have to have some things go in our favor now going forward. Uh, but we're, we're, we're capable uh, of playing a really good, really good game on, uh, on Monday. Some of the balls hit or line drives off. Well, you got to believe one day at a time. History, though, not on the Rays' side. Just 10% of teams that lost the first two games on the road went on to win a division series. But there's still a chance. All right, we just checked the Rays' website, and there are still tickets available for today's game. However, they are limited, and again, we're seeing better deals on StubHub. Tickets for the party deck are going for as low as $40. Want to check in now with Sarah, because if you do go, she's got traffic and parking for you. Yes, and parking Dia can be so stressful, so I have some ideas for you. But you know that the Trop parking lots. Those are going to fill up really quickly and you will see some signs for some alternatives, including the Mahaffey Theater. $10 parking here. The shuttle is stopping here to pick up and drop off fans. So that is a great and convenient option for you. Also some more parking at South Core as well as the Sundial garages and that's only $5. The shuttle is stopping out in front of Second Street in front of South Core and that shuttle runs two hours before game time until one hour after the game. And if you are heading there and you're going to be in the stands, be sure to check at Tampa Bay traffic before you head out, James, because we have bridge drive times updated around the clock.